Well, it's too wet to work today, so we're going to do a little maintenance here. Got me some new bucket teeth on here. Working on the MR today. Been so busy, it's hard to keep up with maintenance, so now that it's finally raining, well, it's not raining, but it snowed last night, and it's all melting, and it's wet as hell. So, today I'm changing the oil in it. Uh, it's nice and cold, so I started up and let it run for a few minutes, kind of heat the oil up there that way it comes out a little easier so already loosened up the drain plug here so hopefully we'll go ahead and let it come out and not get completely covered never fails we'll drop the plug in the bucket that happens too there we go yeah rag and wipe that off. Got that. Of course that's the only thing I forgot was a paper towel. Imagine that. Loosen that up and get a little air in there. It might come out a little quicker. Look at that. Black gold. Alright, well, I'm going to go wipe my uh, my fingers off here and uh, we'll go ahead and change the filter and Fill it back up with oil. All right, got the oil drained out. I'm gonna pull the filter off here real quick. I've already loosened it up, so I'll just spin it off of my hands. I got this nice little, it's one good thing about Yanmar, is, uh, let's see. They got a little pan right there, so when you dump the filter out, the oil goes into that, and it's got a little tube that runs right straight out. That way you don't have oil pour it all over the place so we'll take this filter over here and just throw it here in the burn barrel well we don't worry about that I probably should have poured the oil out in the bucket but oh well uh, I got my new oil filter right there let me go get some oil walk back over here into the Back part of the shop, we got oil on tap. We go through so much oil, so we just bought about 55 gallon drums. Filled up these two gallons here a second ago. Come over here. Yeah, fill it up with oil here. We gotta get our filter going there. So always, I don't know. My dad's always done it, so this is what I do. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed here. Just a little oil on your your gasket there, where well, everything goes on nice and smooth. We'll take this, get this in here without getting any dirt in it. Huh? Come out easier than it went in. There we go. Can't see and hold the camera at the same time. Let's see here. A little hard to do one handed here. There we go. Spin that bad boy on there. Might be able to get you some light right here so we can see what we're actually doing. Look at that. Spin that bad boy on. We'll get our oil filter wrench. Maybe that light will stay, maybe it won't. Looks like it won't. Let's lay it up here. Get our oil filter wrench here. Get that bad boy on there. Well, I'll tighten it up and be back to you. I can't do this one-handed. All right, got that tightened up. A little bit tricky there, one-handed. Now we got to uh, finish filling it back up with oil. So we'll just probably about two gallons come out. So I'm just gonna slowly pour it in here. 
Put about a gallon in there and check it. I know it's good. It holds about two gallons. That way we don't get too happy with it. Let that go down a little bit. I'm going to start up and run it a little bit. Check it again. Once I get all the oil changes done, I'm going to... That's the water separator, and obviously it needs a little bit of uh, coolant there, so I'll top all that off and drain that out. I'll show you how to do that right there. Water separator collects all the water that builds up in the fuel. Diesel fuel is like a water magnet, so it just attracts it, and all you got to do is just loosen that little wing nut right there, and it'll, it'll drain out the bottom right there, and I'll just dump it into the oil jug, to the bucket I got down there. So. I already changed the fuel filters about a couple months ago. It started bogging down. We we had to do that to finish up a project. So I'll get everything topped off with oil here. We'll check it. And we'll handle the other stuff right here real quick. Alright, so on the water the water separator here, I got that uh Loosened up in it, had to take that plug all the way out, had a little bit of crud there in it. That's what it does, you loosen that plug up right there, and the uh, what it'll do is it'll drain out in the bottom right there, and that's where all your water will collect. Since diesel fuel is lighter than water, it will stay at the top, and all your water and sludge goes to the bottom. And it settles in that bowl right there when you loosen this plug, it allows it to come out, drips into this bucket right here. So now that we got pure diesel fuel coming out again, Put that back in there and tighten this back up. That's just a little handy thing right here you can do if you ever see that bowl get up there. It's supposed to be like a little thing on it, yeah. Once you get it right there, your trash kind of drain it out. But you know, once it gets about that line right there, I like to dump that out. Let's wipe a little diesel fuel off my hand. Uh, topped it off with coolant. Last thing we'll do, check our air filter. I can only imagine what this is going to look like. Oh yeah. I think it was used on a burning job. Probably needs a new one. I don't even want to see what this is going to look like. I can only imagine. Yeah, I'll take it up there to the shop and... blow it out with air compressor some people don't like to do it but you know what you can't buy a new filter every damn time you clean it out so yeah i'll take the, the air compressor and blow it out you always blow them out from the inside that way it doesn't push the dirt down into the filter it kind of blows it out still best to get a new one but you know what you can't buy a new filter every time you need to change it so i'll go up there and get that blown out Kind of go over everything, start it up and let it run for a few minutes and make sure nothing leaks and should be good to go on this machine. Alright. So we're good to go on everything. Let's check our oil here one more time. Uh, that's how you do it. Looks like we're good to go on it. Perfect. This one's done. So that was a oil change. Went up there, cleaned out the air filter, drained the water separator, and topped off the, the antifreeze. We're good to go now. See how many hours we got on this thing. I'll shut that in a second. One thousand four hundred sixty nine. Been a good machine. It's a two thousand eight. Bought it last. Yeah, late two thousand eight. So that's done. Now we're going to do the straw blower. <laughs> 